So now that we've decided to choose Palmetto Bluff as our future home, we have to decide where in Palmetto Bluff to live, what neighborhood. There are multiple neighborhoods in Palmetto Bluff. Um, first of all, understand Palmetto Bluff is a five-star resort neighborhood. Inside Palmetto Bluff is the Montage. Montage is a hotel chain company that is a five-star hotel, and they have multiple residences around the country. The many neighborhoods that we have to look for are the Headwaters, which is a dynamic area. Not many lots, but very large, very large lots. May River Forest, which goes back to the old time hardwoods. Not many pines, it's a hardwood forest. This is where the golf course resides in Palmetto Bluff. Large lots, acre plus lots. Then you have the village. You have Wilson Village, which is the original village of the property where the ruins are, the Buffalo's Resort, and the original River House. Moving south past that, we have River Road, which are more tight-knit cottages and medium-sized houses closer together. And as you make that further south, the newest, which is Moreland Village. Moreland Village is similar to Wilson Village, where it actually has a village in itself and has a culinary restaurant called Cole's, a bowling alley, uh, a bike shop, and also a place to grab some snacks. Other ones are Barge Landing and Longfield Stables. Uh, Longfield Stables is an area where if you have horses, equestrian. And in the future, in the next 10 years, you will see Anson. After going through and studying all these places with our family, we decided that the best place for us as a whole was May River Forest. We wanted an area that was close enough to the amenities, but also had isolation from, from other people um, in the evening. We wanted a large piece of property, um, and we chose a two-acre lot that was conducive for us, which we'll get into 